Good morning, kids. This is what we got today, all day long. About 48 degrees, raining all day. It rained all weekend. Dallas Cowboys, Arizona. Okay. Um, this is gonna be a shit day. I was excited because we're pulling out a a um, double wall fiberglass tank. Remember that big 10,000 gallon metal tank we took out uh, at that condominium complex. Good morning, Craig. That condominium complex there in Middletown. Will they have another one? It's a double wall fiberglass, so they say. That metal tank was supposed to be fiberglass. Uh, they don't know how much is in it. A pedometer, a pedometer that they have is not working. Um, so, I got Brian um, coming out with the vac truck. I think he's going to be there at 11-ish. I don't know. But here's the deal. Trying to save a little bit of money so I don't have to rent that big machine, which is about $2,200 a day. Uh, we're going to try to pull it out with the 80. Um, we barely got out a 3K one time. And it was a little embarrassing how we had to do it. But this is a 4K so I'm going to bring the 80 and the 40, try to save some money. Also, uh, we rented that fence. Uh, it's like $1,300. Uh, so a little over four grand we're saving. So because I'm not renting the fence, that means it's got to get done in one day. So we got a lot on our plate. I think we can do it. If not, it'll be fun watching us fail, right? I don't like working in the rain. I'd rather work in the snow. I don't. So, let's see where we're at. I see Craig came in early. He's got Big Red and the trailer. It's crazy. The drainage is, is swelled very nice here at the yard. Uh, so, we'll get that 40 and the 80 out. Let's just see. Maybe Craig's got some different ideas. Um, somebody told me to take the flags off underneath. Come on, guy. Come on. Hey. So I want to bring the 40 and the 80. Because I don't know about weight. I, I can, we can't fail. We, we don't have a fence. I didn't rent the fence. So it's got to get done today. And I, I want to get it out. I don't know. Maybe I'll end up smashing it in the hole and taking it out in pieces. I don't care. All right, let's do it. Okay, folks, we've made it. Uh, you should remember that. That was a 10,000 gallon metal tank. A double wall. That void hasn't sunk an inch. So for all those folks that don't like my method of uh, compacting with the back of the bucket, there you go. I don't need a vibrator or a jumping jack. So let's just get at it. I thought that back row of cars would have been moved. Yeah. Right. Right. Move this. I just want to get the machine off. All right. What up, Mikey? What up, Jammer? Try to keep this lens as dry as possible today. That'll work. Think I 
can take a 4,000 gallon tank out <clears throat> six, week, six feet away from cars. Did they try to call you? Try to call Casey? These cars all got to get moved. There we go. They all got notes that they had to be moved. So I'm gonna stockpile right, start behind them. Right? They may have gotten notes, but management should be out here to make sure, right? See how there's a little patch right there? That's where all the lines are gonna go. Yeah, right there. Cause that's like where I, cause I have to dig the entire strip there and the entire strip there, you know? So anywhere right now, I guess is good, you know? Yeah, no, no, I have to dig along that strip, Craig. Um, wait, wait, let me actually help here. Hold on. Hey, Craig. Right behind me. Right behind me. <clears throat> Instead of being a jerk to you. Yeah, I'll help, I'll help you out. I just don't know why... Can't follow instructions. Yeah, I know. I give a give a phone call to KC and then. dig out I'll get I'll get this stuff now
right there, Core. Keep working. <clears throat> ah, I guess uh, that got everybody up and going. You're good. You're good. Got started up. He said he's got to start it up and he got out. so we can give Brian an idea. size tanker to bring. Break it? Huh? Is that the truck going? Tank, you got to. 
to do what you can to not hit it because it just shattered. I got to sit here and work around this guy behind me here now. It's going to be a 10 foot diameter. Somewhere right here should be the ending of the tank. Right? Right about here? There's a one line. Are you helping up there? <laughs> yeah, something's on. I'm gonna have a stroke. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it wouldn't be sitting like this. The neutral, right? Yeah. yeah is that electric okay. parking brake on? Yeah, that shit doesn't work. So. I don't fucking know. Alright, you, you ready? Let's go! Go! Oh, no way, something's on. You just put it on. Ah. Uh, okay, so take it off. Happy Monday. It's a Monday. Oh, right, that's it. There you go. Ready? Go! Yeah. Oh, we moving now. Yes. Keep it going. Whoa. All right. I'm doing all the work. Yeah, we all do. All right, he's steering well. You did this before. All right, brother, that'll work, man. Keep going. Sweet. Say so well, there was a little discrepancy over there. Huh? There was a little discrepancy over there with her. Man, she came and talked to a grown man. She said, why didn't you move yesterday? <laughs> Bitch, are you crazy? <laughs> yes. No, yes. I don't disrespect nobody. Yes. Like that. Don't let that bother you, man. All right, thank you, bro. Thank you. Whew. Man. But he was ready to throw hands. He was gonna throw hands on her. 
Oof. Uh. All right, we're bringing another 15 tons right here now. Um. Yourself. Right, we got Craig in the in the 40 now digging that other side so all we need is a little Nate dog out here he's got one of them foot pedal ones great with it to try to drag it up on end and drag it up out of here it's kind of how this is looking If we can't lift it up though, but that's the end. Ideally, you want a much larger machine when removing commercial grade tanks, but. 
you know, trying to save a little money here. That's all. You know, if I, uh, if I rented a machine, Mob and Demob did it in one day, about 2,400. The fencing is between 13 and 1,400. So that's almost four grand. I mean, I'll let you guys know. Uh, I bid this job 10,000. Uh, so I have DEC sampling and a closure report. Uh, that'll be about 1,200 bucks. We've got five guys, time and material, and then I've got 10 tons, 25, 30 tons of backfill. So, obviously, if I can save three or four thousand dollars on this, that goes right into our pocket. And it makes the job a little more challenging. Gets the YouTube viewers excited. Come out here with a big 60,000 pound machine. Grab a chain. Hook the chain right to that. Ah, look. She's coming. I don't know if you guys saw that, but I put my tooth in the hook and she moved, so. I'm totally psyched now. But with that, it would have been good having room over here, because then I could have just picked it and dragged it up and out, so. I thought I was gonna have to pull it out this way like we did with the 10K. So, a little more bobbing and weaving. We'll figure it out. I'm confident we'll get it out now after just seeing that. Damn. And we dig. I've been digging for an hour and 15 minutes straight right now. Greg, want to be happy? Watch this. She coming. say what do you want me to do ah uh, you you tell me what you want me to do because I was going to continue digging no, wait, lift, it up. lift what up yeah you got to hook a chain to it no. we're not going to get enter it and clean it so okay Say, Craggy, you're the new leader. Hey, I don't like this spot, dude. This is obviously where the 10K was. You have like eight inches of dirt and then stones. When you try and you're just gonna collapse. What do you want me to do? I'm just saying, I don't like this spot. Okay, so that's it. Gonna throw negativity out there. What do you want me to do? Tell me where to go. I want you to pick the proper game so that we win money. Well, listen, in hindsight, I thought we were gonna have to pull it out, drag it out like that, yeah. but now. Ideally, if we put everything there and just drag it up, that would have been the way to go. Ready? Yeah.
just don't yeah I don't think it's gonna yeah the, the... be down at it and cut a whole pump get in cut the top I can get it anyway now do you want me to get it up and out of here if you split it sideways maybe I, I can get it out you know what I, mean? I just got to reposition myself okay. but I'd like that to be unhooked no oh yeah The mighty 80. Just hey, we cut a hole like eye level, like a window right here to get in. Yeah, we get him the. We get we get the Jim. You can back up a little more right here if you want, so you don't have to pull too many hoses. Okay, so it's not a metal tank, and it's not even double walled, so uh, that's why the 80 was able to pick that up, but. We made a good decision. Uh, so we're gonna grab some samples now and just wait for the uh, code enforcer. Nice and neat. See what the boys have to say. What? The mighty 80. The mighty 80. Dude, with the J hook. With the center tab. The mighty 80. Looks oh, like wow. we're going to Great Gorge to have some chicken. <laughs> what do they call that place? The uh, casino? Monster Golf? No. B Buffalo. A Buffalo. Oh, Buffalo yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Little damage here. Little damage. So, Craig made it a point to oh, inform us all, because yes. I thought he was crazy for me to stop digging, uh, that he was right. Craig was right. Craig is right. That's why Craig is the new fearless leader. We're gonna and we got the vac hose. So jump us all, Craig. I'm just trying to save the battery. Hey, use a wood blade. Do we have a wood blade? No. You sure? The Sylvie might. It's <laughs> not in there. I'm just looking there. It's empty. It's a trailer. I may, I may have a wood blade in my truck. You don't have your truck. I don't have my truck. I'm nothing without my truck. Wood blade. A cut right through that. There you go, Corey.
wet, dry 20 times. No it's way. It's not dry. There's going to be oil in it. There's going to be Bro, crack. that boom can't pick up 2,500 pounds. I'm telling you, it just did. Wow. That's dead already? Oh. Nope. This thing stinks, man. Hey, I'm assuming that blue is the old vent. I'm not sure. I think we should get rid of it, though. We need we need breathable apparatus there. Good job, Ryan. Okay, so that was one battery. Uh, one and a half. Yeah, so it took one and a half batteries to cut that. That's why I hate battery-operated tools. Nonsense. Sucking Yeah, we're start sucking. We put some hoses and we'll start sucking. I get um somebody in their breathable apparatus i think craig is gonna go in maybe so we got just those uh fiberglass odor so because of that we're just gonna go with a clean air system that pumps fresh air in the mic in his mask Five gallon tobacco bucket right there. Right. Yeah, we do for the stone. Yeah. All right, so we're just going to drain these lines of any product, and then I'll pull it out from the other side. Foam fill. We'll cut that other end flush. Dip it down to the foam fill that also. Good stuff. And then we'll do that with the other one. Can I have that wrench clean? He's just trying to twist it to get everything out. All right. And we'll get the other one. Careful, Cor. That's going to right in your face. Please. No, it won't. No, it won't. <laughs> Go ahead. I'm in my mouth. I'll get it right here. I'll hire for it. I'm trying to hold this one. Craig, I wanted to let, let, let the folks see the squirting, so I saved it. Easy. Whoa. Ah, boom. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's <laughs> off, ready? Why that right? Yeah. I guess I'm not going to clean up. I'd rather not spill 100 gallons. 100? You never know. Anything? Oh, nope. yeah. <laughs> wow. Dry as a boom, my boy. Okay. That was that was definitely a letdown. Who wanted to see Corey get shot in the face with oil? <laughs> right, right. I did. I did. Pretty much anybody. I, I did. did. I did too. Yeah, I know you did. Nate, Nate, Nate wants to drink. Nate did. Nate's gonna see us working without him. He's gonna be pissed off. He was mad yesterday. He asked me to come to work again. <laughs> he was pissed. We get him on payroll. Daddy, Daddy you work? I wear work. You I wear hey. masters. So, I work. Craig, why don't you tell the folks something happened? at his first job. Why don't you tell the folks what happened? Uh, you know the Gatorade bottle we used to prime the pump? Nate saw it, thought it was pink Gatorade. Took a little swig. He chugged a little. Uh, he came to me and goes, Dad, oil. So we thought he was okay. He was fine for like five hours and then he threw up. Pure oil. 
took him to the ER. Yeah, so feeling a little guilty because I'm the one that put the oil in it for the next time, but I'll tell you, oil in a Gatorade bottle looks delicious. It does. And long story short, we are now registered with Poison Control. <laughs> yeah. We have one strike. We had to... Uh, <laughs> I got online and said, you know, the cause and effect of swallowing number two fuel oil, and my lord, Mount Sinai said, call poison control, pump yeah. his stomach. He's Come fine, on. he's fine, but uh, his, he, he's his good. stool the next couple of days looked like remediation we were doing, uh, <laughs> like red fuel one time. Oh. <laughs> so needless to say, mommy says no more tank masters. Now it should be empty. Okay. So we're going to cut that line. Go ahead. So we can pull Watch it out fingies. smoothly. I'm here. There you go. Try the bone. Now when I grab that from the other side, she'll slide right out. On this metal here. What you thinking, Sam? We need, you need me. So we're gonna. Ugh. We're gonna lift this thing up. The one side of it. Get it tilted so we get the flow pumping. Think you can slide that under there? One of them ribs? Pull it, just throw it over. All right. Yeah, we gotta get up there though. I don't want it to spin like it was. I know, I was waiting for someone to say stop. We're done pumping? No. no. Oh. Telling you, we need that half moon squeegee. Huh? What is? Two hundred dollars every two thousand pounds. What to get rid of this? Yeah. You think that's strong enough to pump septic? Doesn't seem like it. I don't know. Hey, Jim, the filter's clogged. Is this thing? Oh, the filter's clogged. I don't think so. Oh, is this thing strong enough to pump septic? No. I know. I know. I was just wondering because it's not working. Finishing up the 4K. Has it? No. Yeah, it's an 18 bucket. 
18 buckets. Wow. Hey, that's the thumbnail right there. Michael, how was it? Easy. It was easy, right? Yeah. Easy peasy. Look at that drop tube, huh? Inch and a quarter. Drop tube, that's five inches off the bottom. What a waste of, this could be like, um, what are those uh, shelters, those bomb shelters? You can figure that out. What a waste. And I gotta pay 400 bucks to get rid of it. So the inspector just showed up, which is awesome now. We're gonna unhook this. chain to it I'm gonna pick it up Craig is gonna dump that clean fill he'll go get the trailer you got that Craig I'm close to the excavation, that's why. Get a little nervous. Got that? The rock. Get this all centered. boss right. thanks again man I wish they would all like you I do you don't even know the stuff we have to deal with sometimes New Jersey's horrible uh -huh. oh yeah so that's the vent pipe that we already cut below grade I know you had that issue so that gets cut um, those two lines right there do yep. you want to see in the basement we, we drained them yeah. and I'm gonna slide them out I can't slide them out until I get some backfill in here but that is not actually, that's just laying there. That's a broken piece of that one. Oh, okay. Those are the only two lines. We're gonna pull them out and we foam fill on both ends. All right? All right? Yep. Yep. All right, thank you, sir. Hey, Dry, he doesn't have the uniform on. What? He's got long pants. <laughs> He's soft. He's soft. Sorry. You guys live in California. He's soft. <laughs> Take care. Later, my boy. My boy. I'll tell you when. Go ahead. Keep coming. I'm going to straighten him out. No? Just keep turning. He's good. Oi! It ain't going to go right in the hole, but it's going to go close. Yeah. Straight back. Straight back. Stop. Come look, come here. <laughs> I was on a ledge? We got like an inch and a half left. Hey, how much fun are you gonna have? Right there.
are you, Cor? Stop. I see the truck. All right, you're good. What are you yelling stop for? I just drove around the truck. I just drove around the truck. I wish I could blade down. Well, that was entertaining. Like the ass end's gotta come to me. Why don't I just bring it all the way up front and then I can make. Yep, yeah, go ahead, Mike. Mike, go ahead. Right there. Looks perfect from here. Use everything we got. Definitely the straps. Now we need two. We need to go. You're right no. down the street. Don't worry, this trail is you want some chicken? You want some chicken? <laughs> You want some chicken? Chicken? Yeah. Buffalo wild wings. You don't have to drive. You can give me some. All right. Let's oh. do this. No? No. How close is it? Let's do this. Three feet. Looking at it like it's gonna change. <laughs> well, are you um, I'm, I, crazy? Crazy? Who bought these? You know what I'm saying? Let go, four. Well, we can use one. We use two for one side. How many we got? We got four, right? Uh, we got three right here. I'm sure another truck has one. Yeah, so we'll just do that. We'll go halves. 
I'm still gonna put one chain on it. Yeah, you put five on it if you want, Greggy. Okay? Yeah. While you're up there. Yeah. No? Corey, grip. No? I will. Wait, no, I wouldn't unhook that yet. Okay, no, that's not holding him. That's not holding him. The strap is. That's why I wouldn't unhook the strap. Okay, give me the chain. Just unhook the damn chain. What kind of chain? My son, my son. Oh god. It's not it's not holding the tank. You gotta come back here, dude. I got no ups. I I my I got bad shoulders. I'm arm. sad to say that I can't lift that. You got the wrong arm. Oh. Yeah. Don't drop it. <laughs> All right. Ah! Got surgery oh, in eight God. days. on the other side a little bit too though. You're gonna flip it right over? Yeah, flip it right off. Alright. I should probably just help, right Corey? What? I should help you, not just watch you. Hook me, I'll pull it this way.
guy. Foam fill those, those blue sleeves right there. Foam fill. Alright, alright. I need right here, give me. We got it from here, so. You like that machine, huh? Cool. Huh? Cool. You don't like it. All right. downstairs and foam filled that no spilling or anything down there
just see how that looked right there. this stuff gets wet it's really heavy but the fact that it is wet it's perfect for compacting Fiberglass 